Alright, so today I'm going to do a basic overview of the iRobot Create. I'm going to go over what comes in the box, what accessories you can get, and what you can do with it to get started. So what comes in the box? Um, in the box you have the iRobot Create, obviously. Uh, you have a serial communication cable, the charger, and the docking station. Uh, one thing to note is that you can either plug the charger into the docking station or you can plug it directly into the iRobot Create, depending on what you're doing with it. Um, some accessories you can get for it. The two that I have here are the remote control, which is pretty handy when you want to control it. Uh, you can have it go through its cleaning cycle, the spot cleaning cycle, or have it return to base. And then you can also control its direction using these arrow keys. And the other accessory I have with me are um, two virtual walls. So. Uh, these work the same for the regular Roomba vacuum cleaners, and they also work with the Create. Uh, one thing to note is that these run off of C batteries, which are a little uncommon nowadays, but you can still get them. Uh, one second. So right there, it takes two C batteries, and then just clicks in. Alright, now on to what you can do with the iRobot Create. So basically the iRobot Create is a platform for which you can build projects upon. So it's got motors, everything a regular Roomba vacuuming robot would have. But the only difference is that you can communicate with it to have it do what you want. Now it has a few somewhat, I guess, basic sensors. Uh, you have the bumper sensor, you have the infrared sensor, and then you have cliff detectors on the bottom. And that's about it. Um, there are a couple other ones, like the dirt detect sensor, but uh, that's stuff we can get to later. Um, before you can communicate with the iRobot Create using your serial cable, you're going to either have to take off the faceplate, so the faceplate is just this green part, or you're going to have to drill a hole in it. Now, I've already drilled the hole in it, but to take it, um, but yeah, sorry, I'll go over uh, how to take this off first, once I just make some room here. So, you want to start by removing the dust collection bin, so that's just the back part here, opposite to the bumper. Um, just push the button down and pull out, and it pops right off. And this is the dirt collection bin. Uh, one thing to note is that you can't really run the, I uh, I the iRobot Create without the dust collection bin, um, just because it floats up. The wheels are on springs, so you'll probably have to put a counterweight in the back here. Uh, back to taking off the faceplate. Uh, just start by peeling up here, near where the button cutout is. So there's just a couple of latches that go all the way around um, the outside and this inner circle. So you just have to pop those out. They'll be kind of tight if it's the first time you've taken the faceplate off, but if you just work at it, it'll come off. And then you just have to work it around the handle here. And there you go, that's the faceplate off. Now to drill the hole, you'll have to drill it from the back because of these plastic pieces. Uh, you might bend the plastic and miss where you're trying to drill. Um, on iRobot's website, you can download a drilling template that you can put on the back so you know where to drill the hole for your serial communication cable. Um, other than that, there are a couple other cutting areas where you can uh, get into the dust collection bin. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. And put the whole thing back together. So let's take a look at the bottom of this. The iRobot Create is a modified Roomba robot, so it comes with like, for example, the vacuuming part and the motors that turn the pickup brushes. Um, when you run it on the regular cleaning cycle, the vacuum runs and the two brush motors run. Um, those are kind of annoying because they do make a bit of noise, but uh, for instance, with the vacuum motor, it's fairly easy to disable. What I've done here is I've taken a piece of tape and just put it over one of the connectors here, and that just keeps uh, electricity from flowing to the motor. So yeah, that's that's about it uh, for me today um, about the iRobot Create. 
Uh, I'll have more videos coming out in the future. And thanks for watching.